So you, you see how that started off, right? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back, welcome back. RK Rottweilers, thank you for tuning back in. We appreciate it. So today is going to be just nice and easy. A little bit of RK Fitness. We're just going to take a walk to the back. You can see we got the young princess of RK right here. We're going to hit her with a little Q&A. Um, she's heading back to Colorado. I don't want her to miss out on too much school, so she's going to get back and get to some school. But we're going to pull out some of these dogs and uh, head to the back of the property. And I'll show you guys a little bit what we had going on with the... I told you guys about the Satuma trees on a different video and how I had to clear them out. So I cleared one out. And man, the amount of work on that. So, yeah, it's just a nice, easy day today. But we're going to get out some of these ladies. You hear them. What? What, Mola? Yeah, that one don't care. She's just ready to go. Little balls of energy. So much fun, so much peace. What, Boogie Bear? Come here, sit, sit. I know, I know. All right, let's go. Come on, Nugget. Don't worry about them. Settle down a little bit here in a minute. This is always right when they come out of their kennel. And there they go. Look. <laughs> Yep, that's the fun of that there. So, like I said, we're just going to get them back here. Come on up here, Nugget. We're going to hit our little Nugget here, too, with a little Q&A. And then I'll get back to these trees, show you guys what we got going on back there. And, yeah, it turned out to be a lot of work. So, this is the one everybody knows, the Nugget. Say what's up, Nugget. Hi. So, I'm going to ask you this, Nugget. What's your first memory but when we first started having puppies. Um, I just remember them tearing stuff up. No, when we had our first litter. Remember you came down and helped with that? What do you remember most about that? Um, it was nasty. <laughs> Why? Because it was just disgusting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. We can, we can call it that. We can call it that. So tell me this, what do you like best about having these big, beautiful Rottweilers? Um, they're very comforting. Very comforting. I like that. I like that. And who's your favorite? It could, it could even be past dogs. Oh, past dogs? It could, um, any of them. Now, we've had Rottweilers since she's been a little baby, so. Uh, one of our dogs, King. King, yeah. Now, King was a male that I had about five years ago. Probably the biggest Rottweiler I've ever owned. Um, 
At the peak of his weight, though, he had developed Addison's, so he was actually weighing a lot more than, than what he should have. But he got up to about 160, which it just wasn't a good healthy weight. So when you see my dogs, you'll notice after going through that, I never want to see any of my dogs looking like that again. So, you know, I really do make sure that I get them out and run them and play them. Um, some people like the big overweight dogs. I personally don't. I like my dogs to be fit and healthy. Uh, it just helps out a lot. Um, yeah, you know, that's how that goes. So how do you feel? sleeping at night with acid the foot of your bed mm. does it make, make you feel more safe less safe or do you still feel like the boogeyman is going to jump out the closet I, I never thought the boogeyman was going to jump out the closet but um more safe more safe that's good that's good that's what it should do that's what it's supposed to do guys that's what it's supposed to do now when your teenage daughter tells you she feels safe with that rottweiler sleeping in there that's all the reason in the world to have them so I'm going to flip this around. You guys check out this tree. So these are the Satsuma trees. That's a kumquat tree there. Actually, it still has some on there. I'll show you guys those. Late in the season, they just haven't all fallen off. But they're basically like those little tiny oranges. Just the little guys. They're actually uh, pretty sweet too. Now the problem is... All these other little trees that you see in there are not supposed to be there. So I have to do what I did to this one right here. And I have to cut all those out of there. And trust me, this was probably a two-day job. Because then once you cut out all those trees, you have to cut them all down and break them down. So as you can see, the tree looked like it's coming back to life. It's really standing up more. Just nice and healthy again. Cause these other trees are kind of like weeds see that big tall one that's not, none of those are supposed to be there so i have to get them all out of there because they're just draining the life out of these beautiful satsuma trees which are basically like little oranges like cuties so that's the rabbit hole that i went down with all this stuff uh let's see the pile so that's pretty much the whole pile just from this one tree and I have 11 of them back here, so yeah, I'm gonna have a nice little area of debris back here. But you can see the girls. See the girls! <laughs> you didn't even notice the little kumquat, huh? Here, let me see. Here. Here, you wanna try the kumquat? Drop it, you don't want it? Too much citrus? <laughs> Did she get it? Yeah, she had it for a second. Yeah, they spit it back out. It's right here. Come on. Hey, why don't you try it? Get down. Here. You like it? <laughs> What do you think, Nugget? They like them? No, I don't think so either. She lost it in the grass somewhere. <laughs> so, you know, that's the beauty of uh, having these trees. Come back here and pick my own fruit. Um, the one that I showed you actually did bear fruit. Uh, December was when they um, were ready to harvest. Uh, and only We only got like four or five uh, oranges off of there, but... They were so sweet and so good. I just I made the decision to come back here and clean this all up and see if we can't get these uh, trees back to bearing fruit. You know, when you got property like this and you have the opportunity to do so, why not? Uh, actually thinking about too in this area where I showed you the debris, because it doesn't get too marshy back here. It's it's elevated enough. Um, so when the rainy season comes, it's not buried in water that we're probably gonna put up a couple more trees. Um, just this climate is really good for it, so. We'll figure it out. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Uh, we're down in Louisiana. Uh, if you're familiar with the climate, you know, it's, it's a lot like Florida. So I know that there's a lot of different fruit trees that we can put up. So I'm really excited to kind of figure out what, what extra ones we're going to put up and, and see if we can get them to bear some fruit. But yeah, if you guys have any suggestions, please throw that in the comment box. Um, also, just like I asked my nugget, I would like to hear 
some of your earliest memories of you know having your Rottweilers you know if you already own them you know if you don't and you're looking to get one of course this is new to you but if you're somebody that's had Rottweilers for a while puppies you know just uh yeah let me know some of your earlier memories so you know what was your favorite one why you know things like that King was kind of my favorite too um you know he just had that personality but you know he he's he's been gone a while uh and as of right now I know I show a little more favoritism to Moolah because I raised her from birth and that's the first dog I've actually done that with. But I really don't have a favorite because they all bring me something different. Oh, especially this one right here. Hi, my mom. Oh my goodness, there goes the other one. There's the other one. So these two are my jumpers. These two like to get up on my arm and jump up on me. That's Boogie Bear and Mercedes. Very sweet girls. Gotta get him going with one of those branches, Nugget. Oh God, here she comes. Oh God, there she is. The tank. The beast. You're like four dogs in one. You know that, Moolah? That's not good. Let's get a good one. Ooh, look what I got. Look what I got. Get it from her. Take it from her. Crazy dogs. So what do you enjoy most, Nugget, about having all these dogs here now? Um, How about cleaning up the poop? No. Come on, that's always fun. No. How about getting up at six in the morning and let them all out? I don't do it at six in the <laughs> Now you make me do it, huh? See how she's gonna take over the family business when she don't want to get up six in the morning and take the dogs out, right? See that face? That's the face of a sleep in her. Sleep in her. Teenager. Get over here, girl. Yeah, they're still banging over the stick. I knew that was a good stick. Duck lips too. <laughs> Better get you some nice selfies back here with all this pretty land. Oh, I love teenagers. something they'll fight over it. What's doing out there, lady? Going out there, boogie bears. Boogie bear, boogie bear. Boogie bear, boogie bear. Yeah. Oh, that's my bruiser. This is my sweet girl. Yes, 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 this is my sweet girl. I love you, this. Yeah, baby. We know, we know. Don't touch anybody but you, huh?
big enough. Get out of there. Get out of there. What'd you find? Something nasty? Don't make me come over there and find no mouse. Get out of there. Come on. Oh, yeah, she got you. You know, Mercedes wants to get up and say hello and lick your face. Come on, girlies. All right, guys, so like I told you before, every video is not lightning bolts shooting out of Rottweiler's butts and, you know, explosions and fancy fun things. Some of them were just hanging out. Like I said, I like to put these into that RK Fitness category. You know, just kind of hang back, relax. You can watch something like this and, you know, just be in an easy going mood. That's all it's about. Not everything has to be rah-rah all the time. It's good to kind of slow your roll just a little bit. Take it all in. I mean, especially this weather right now. Goodness gracious. I don't think we could ask for a better day today. And I've only seen a couple little vampires out circling around me trying to sting me. So that's always a positive. Especially out here. I know it's only a matter of time, though. I'll probably give it like two, three weeks vampires will be back out in full effect trying to suck my blood get over here hey get out of here so we appreciate you guys tuning in until next time signing off mr rk and we got the young princess rk here miss nugget give him a deuces baby y'all have a good one Thank you.